everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. First of all, I'm going to apologise because I sound a little bit like a man. I lost my voice like last week. I didn't get ill or anything, but I just lost my voice. It was really, really odd and really embarrassing. I was like sat there in a meeting with my manager and like I just couldn't talk anymore. My voice just went. But yeah, and then I, I felt like I got better. And then I woke up today, I went to uh, an event last night, and then I've woken up today and I'm all bunged up and I've got a bit of a sore throat and I feel a little bit like congested. Such a horrible word, but that's how I feel. But I'm going to be doing my January favourites video because there are so many new products that I've got in at the moment and so many things that I am just absolutely in love with that I'm just really excited to tell you about them. And that's what I think that all my favourites videos should be. I want to always be excited to tell you about things. Blah, blah, blah. Let's just get into it. So first up is the Kevin Aquan. I think that's how you say it. I'm really rubbish with saying beauty names and even sometimes fashion names as well. So I hope that I say these right. But it is the, the Kevin Aquan, hopefully. Um, the Sensual Skin Enhancer. Now, a makeup artist used this on me in a shoot that I did a few weeks ago, and it was, oh my God. I mean, she used it all over my face, which is something that I don't do personally, because um, I think it makes me look a bit one-dimensional, um, but it is absolutely amazing. It costs about 36 pounds, which seems like a lot for such a small pot, but you literally need like the tiniest bit and you just like dab it on a brush. I kind of use a bit of a buffing brush and I use it kind of in the areas where I want the most coverage because it's like, I think it kind of blurs the line between a concealer and a foundation. <clears throat> so it's like a concealer that you can use all over your face um, rather than just in concentrated areas. So I literally just buff this into the areas that I really want to get like that flawless coverage and it is just so... It, this is like high coverage. I would say that this is like camouflage. It's incredible. Like I have like a brown like mark on my skin here and when I use this you cannot see it at all, which is incredible. Um, I have it in shade SX04 and I think I got this from Beauty Bay. And it's just amazing. I wear this every day now. I, what I tend to do is sort of, I tend to put it in like this area because that's where I like to have like a really defined um, line around my lips um, from the colour of my skin to my lips and it just kind of really um, m just makes this really flawless. I don't tend to use it over my eyes because it can make me look a bit tired. You know when you use something that's a bit too bright um, it kind of makes me, you look a little bit like you haven't slept. So then I go over it with like a darker shade of foundation but it's a lot lighter, a lot um, less coverage and it's just kind of to add that glow to my skin. So yeah, that's what I've actually got on at the moment. I've got the Kevin Aquan and then I've got a bit of Bourjois Healthy Mix and a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury Magic, just kind of like mixed in to create like the perfect colour, um, I hope. <laughs> But yeah, I'm absolutely loving that. If you really want something that's high coverage and to give you like that flawless base, because as you all know, I have a big thing about the base of makeup. Like that is where I put all of my effort in. I want to have that like flawless base rather than going with lots of color. You need this in your life. If, if that is something that you love too, you need this product because it is beautiful. Try not to sniffle too much. It's so hard not to sniff between products. So yeah, I hope I'm not sounding too ill. Um, I'm gonna do the next one now. The next product is the By Terry Cellular Rose Brightening CC Serum. Now I had a meeting with the people from By Terry last week and I got like a proper introduction to the brand because I'd kind of been toying with buying some bits from them for a while. Um, especially when I was in Las Vegas, I went to Saks and Saks had a little stall. In fact, the only reason I didn't buy anything was there was no one there to serve me, um, which is fine. Like, I'm sure that they were just doing something, but there was just no one there and I was like, I can't really be bothered to wait around. So I didn't buy anything then. So this is one of the products that they gave me and I've been using it as my makeup base for the last week. It honestly is so, so beautiful. Um, it's the perfect sort of base to give you a glow as well as that sort of sheen, um, which is something that I always look for in my um, foundation base. Sometimes I'll use the Lush Million Dollar Moisturiser, which doesn't have this like glow to it, this sort of colour, um, and that is actually quite oily that I find, so it takes a lot to mattify that and take the, the shine away. 
like the greasy shiny look not the iridescent look this I don't have to do that with I don't have to use a lot of powder and I don't like the look of a lot of powder I like to have that sort of dewy glow it's finding the right balance I think but I use this every day all week you need just one pump um, but the good thing is is I can wear this in the gym as well it gives me that like kind of a little bit of a sun-kissed look and because it's skincare it's obviously not going to be damaging to your skin and I've just really been loving this so if I'm not if I've not got any makeup on I'll literally just whack some of this on my I've got something on my chin I'll just whack some of this on my um, face and I just feel so much more like awake but yeah no I smelt their fragrances as well I popped to Phoenix on Bond Street and I smelt some of their fra fragrances and I can't remember the one that I I loved I can't remember the name of it but it was in my Instagram picture um, and oh my god I just fell in love with that scent so much they were really really nice and I love the whole ethos behind the brand so yeah really really loving that product at the moment so I have been using the Emma Hardy Amazing Face Moringa Cleansing Balm um, for the last I'd say it's been over a week I think first of all the smell of it is absolutely stunning when I'm using it in the bathroom and Ali walks in he's like oh my god that smells so good um, and it really is lovely and it feels beautiful on my skin and I wake up and my skin just looks so much more healthy than when I was using because I was using um, Hibby scrub for the last few months just I don't know why I go back to that all the time but I do tend I feel comfortable because I know that it's not giving me spots so yeah that's I, I mean I love everything about it so far I also love the packaging and you know that I'm a big packaging lover but one of the things that I really really love about this is the cloth when I've used like other cleansing cloth balms or cleansers, it honestly, it feels like it hurts my skin. Um, it feels very, very like abrasive and just a bit too much, not something that I want to be using on my skin. Whereas this is just, oh, I can't tell you how nice this is. And um, the other good thing about it is once you've used it, so obviously there's gonna be like loads of makeup on it. Now I've used this so many times this week already and it doesn't look like I've used it. Um, that's the thing that I really like about it. It doesn't go brown. Literally after you've used it, just wash it with a little bit of soap, rinse it out thoroughly, and I put it to dry on our towel rail, and it's completely clean. And I hate things lying around the bathroom that look dirty, and the other face cloths that I've used have always done that, so that is a really massive thumbs up for this one. Um, but other than that, absolutely loving it, but I'm excited to try the Oscu one as well. Next up is something for the shower. Um, I have this little thing that I love about when I go to the gym. I love using a really posh shower gel afterwards because I kind of feel like that's my little reward. I have a thing about posh shower gels. Kind of like my thing with posh teas, I guess. Um, it just, I, I like the, the scent of them and I like the whole like luxurious shower after being in the gym, after like sweating and getting grubby and blah, blah, blah. And I'd actually forgotten how much I love this one from Clarins. It's funny because it reminds me of being a kid because when my dad um, lived in Northwood, this was always in his bathroom. So as a kid, I grew up using this. Um, my friend thinks that's hilarious that I used Clarins as a kid, but my dad was quite snazzy. Um, and so it reminds me of my dad, this smell. And I walked past the Clarins counter on the way out um, of Milton Keynes Shopping Centre a couple of days ago and I walked past Clarence counter and I was like, do you know what, I'm just going to pick that up. I love the fact that it's a mousse and it just feels like silk on your skin and yeah, so I think I'll be probably buying this a lot more regularly now because it is my little indulgence after the gym. Um, if you haven't tried it, I suggest that you do because I really do enjoy using it and it is just such a lovely product as well. And it's been around for so long so that just tells you how good it is because I was a kid and that must be like a million years ago now. <laughs> and then finally in the beauty department, um, I've got coconut oil. I think I spoke about this on Snapchat, didn't I? Um, basically I went to visit my dad and my stepmom um, a couple of weeks ago and we're sat there and like my dad and my stepmom they're like my biggest fans but they'll also tell me straight which I really appreciate because I would hate to think that like my family couldn't tell me things and so we're sat there at the breakfast bar in the kitchen and my stepmom's like oh your hair's looking a little bit dry Lydia and I was like oh my god is it and my dad was like yeah like I've never seen your hair look so dry and I was like okay if my dad is saying that as well then it's dry um, and my stepmom was just like 
take this and she gave me she's actually gonna hate me for doing this she told me not to put this on my youtube channel because she didn't want me to to um make it sell out <laughs> um it's called oz botanics um, and she gave me this and she told me to start putting this on my hair before I style it and then doing coconut masks and just popping a bit in the ends of my hair and honestly I haven't had my hair done I wish I had like a before and after but my hair is in such better condition since I've been following what she told me to do um, so hopefully I can find a link to this below but it's a leave-in spray and it cont contains extract of Tasmanian blue gum Wow. So I'll put this coconut oil literally just onto my dry hair. I'll put it through the ends and um, just kind of like massage it in so to make sure that it's like covered all of the ends of my hair because it's quite difficult when you've got thick hair. Um, and then I'll just tie it up in a knot on the top of my head. So that kind of protects my pillow because it's not through the lengths, it's just on the bun. So I don't get coconut oil on my pillow. And I just sleep with it like that or I'll go into the steam room or the sauna at my gym and give it like a really heat intensive coconut oil treatment um, and then I'll just wash it off as normal in the morning it tends to come out fine and then just blow dry it as normal and then what I'll do again is go back with this and I'll pop just a little bit um, into the ends of my hair once it's all styled and like curled so like this it gives my hair this really beautiful um, gloss and shine and it's just done absolute wonders for my hair it's such an inexpensive way to look after your hair and it's such a natural way as well so um, there is also so many other uses for coconut oil and I have done a lot of blog posts about it so if you wanted to learn like more about coconut oil I will pop a link to that post below so you can go and check that out and then finally I'm going to move on to some fashion bits that I have been loving over the past month first up is this Reese uh, it's kind of like a blazer jacket I think Anushka had it and it looks really really beautiful on her I popped into Reese on Barrett Street, so just next to, next to Selfridges the other day, and um, it was in the sale and it was like 120 something pounds, I think, or 140 pounds, something like that. And so they still had it in my size, in a size six. It's a long line blazer with this sort of double breasted design and this um, check pattern. I really love the structure of the lapels on it and um, it's just very very flattering when you have it on it sort of skims your silhouette um, but also looks really beautiful undone um, and I like the length of it the length of it is also really flattering and I just was really happy with it because I got it in the sale and, and I just don't think you can ever be disappointed with something when you get it in the sale so yeah I'm absolutely loving this at the moment and then finally as you know I kind of tend to mix more like premium high street um, pieces with my high end accessories and then I'll put like um, lower end high street products with it to sort of like zhuzh it up a little bit because fashion moves so fast and as much as I wish that I could spend a hell of a lot of money all the time on stuff it's really sort of good to, to feed in key pieces from lower end high street as well and I was browsing ASOS the other day and I'd kind of fallen out of love with Boohoo during the winter months I didn't really see a lot online that I was liking and then I saw that they had put a collection on ASOS and it was like not really anything I'd ever seen from them before it was very sort of contemporary and just really really nice and there was a pair of trousers on there um, and I'll put pop these on so that you can see them um, and they are sort of they're wide leg chiffon trousers with a belted tie waist in this beautiful like grey like it looks like a frosted grey colour and they just look really really smart and I imagine them with like a white crisp white shirt and I could see them looking really beautiful in both the summer but also really smart for like these sort of transitional months that we're going to be going through at the moment um, and for £20 I just couldn't believe how good they were and I was just really impressed and it sort of made me fall back in love with Boohoo it was like they'd done this sort of like capsule collection on their Just For ASOS and it just looked really really great so yeah really really loving them they're really comfortable the movement in the legs is really lovely and just a brilliant 
bargain purchase. So that is everything from my January favourites. I do hope that you have enjoyed this video and if there was anything that you wanted to pick up at all I have found as many links as possible to pop in the description box below. If you do end up trying out any of these products please let me know because I would love to hear your thoughts on them as well. But yeah that's it for this week. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed you can do so below. Down there, there's also, as usual, Snapchat, Twitter and Instagram that you can go and see lots more from me on there, which I've popped links below. And I've also made a point of putting my Snapchat name in there because I know that some of you said that I hadn't put it in. So I'm going to do that from now on. That's a very, very good idea. But other than that, I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!